Hello, this is Bren Antrim, one of the librarians here at Santa Monica College. Today we're going to be doing a database tour of the SINAL database. To get there from the college homepage, click on Menu, scroll down to the plus sign next to Student Support, and then scroll down to Library between Counseling and Tutoring. Once you're at the library homepage, if you have a question, you can ask a librarian at any time, 24-7. Today we're heading down to the center of the page. Ask a Librarian, you'll notice, is linked here again. Using databases, you can access a list of all of our databases that we subscribe to, alphabetical by title, with a short description of what's in each database. You can find databases that are primarily ebooks, or you can go down into specific discipline listings. The database that we're looking at today is a health sciences database, so we go there first. SINAL Plus with full text is professional literature in nursing and allied health disciplines and includes nearly 600 journals in full text, which means you get the article, not just the information about the article. When we go into SINAL, if you have not yet logged in, you must do so in order to access the database. You log in just exactly as you would with Canvas. Once there, the interface may look very familiar. EBSCOhost publishes many of our databases, but this is specifically for nursing, and it includes some things that are not in other databases. It'll give you the list of publications within this database, sign all subject headings, which are assigned to subject headings specific to the medical field, evidence-based care sheets for specific diseases. For example, if I were looking for um, asthma, I could click on that. And eventually the database will catch up. <laughs> and it will give me a care sheet for that specific population and disorder. In addition, there are quick lessons. For example, if I were looking for a lesson on Alzheimer's disease, it gives me a continuing education module. Nurses are required to complete continual, con continuing education and this assists with that. And there are other things that you can access via this database as well. I'm going to show you today how to do a search on a specific topic throughout the general database. So if I look for COVID-19, First, I scroll down to ensure that full text is actually clicked. I want the article, not information about the article. And I search that out. This is a very current topic. Normally, for journals, I would want to limit to the last five years in the medical field, but that's not as applicable here because this has been um, only about three years that this has been a hot topic. And I come up with over 8,000 articles, which is a few too many. So I can go over here and I can say, um, hmm, we have information in academic journals, we have information in magazines, and we have continuing education units, 24 of them specifically. Uh, <clears throat> so I'm going to say, give me academic journals. That cuts out about 3,000, 3,500. And then I can limit by the subject age, gender, geography. I'm going to start with subject. And say I'm specifically interested in the pandemic. I've now gone down to just a little over 1,000. And perhaps I want to look at how that pandemic is playing out in the United States. Cutting it down further, 
and I can get even more specific. Say I want to take a look at how this is affecting children. So in about five steps, I've taken it down to 15 articles. As you can see, the limiters are very powerful and you want to be careful how you use them. You could zero yourself out. <clears throat> so as I go down here, I find <clears throat> a short article in Pediatric Nursing from December of 2020. I see one having to do specifically with hearing from April of 2021. And I find a case study that looks very interesting, again in pediatric nursing. So I'm going to click on that to show you how this works. When you click on that and head into your article, it gives you everything that you need for your citation. It links you to the source so you can find other articles within that journal. It gives you major subjects and minor subjects. Um, so these are the large areas that it's about and these are the more um, narrow areas that it uh, narrows in on. Then it gives an abstract that is the author's summary of the article, tells you what this research study was about. The actual article itself is over here in a PDF, full text. With this article, you can add it to your Google Drive over here on the right-hand side, add it to a folder, print it, email it, save it. I tend to email as we go. It also allows citation assistance. So if you need to cite this, depending on which class you're in, you'll probably be using American Medical Association or Modern Language Association or American Psychological Association, depending on whether it's a nursing class, an English class, a history class, etc. Whichever format you use, please make sure that you fix it based on the information that you're receiving from your instructor because the databases very seldom get the references completely correct. If you email it to yourself, you tell it where to send it, give it some sort of a search, um, a subject. Do not send it in plain text format so that you maintain the PDF and you get all of your information that you need. Change your citation format to whatever citation you're using for your class and send it off. In your email, which you will get in just a few moments, all of this information will be included in the email as well as the database's attempt at a citation and attached to it will, the PDF, will be the PDF full text of the article. Once you have that, you can go back to your result list. You can select another article or update your subject terms. If you have any questions, you can ask a librarian right here in the database so you don't have to leave your search in order to ask your question. And you can apply the answers that you get directly to your search. I wish you the best with your research. Be well.